y'all welcome back in this video I'm going to show you how to make this really awesome creepy crystal ball for Halloween using items from the Dollar Tree stay tuned and I will show you how to do it alrighty y'all so before I get started on this I just want to say that this video is pretty special for me because it's part of what has been dubbed as collaboween which is a Halloween type collaboration between myself and several other YouTubers it was all put together by Auntie Cuckoo if you have not done so already please check out her channel I'm going to put a link to it in the description box down below so please take a look at what she has to offer she does a lot of hauls and DIYs a lot of awesome stuff all right so let's get on to the craft and what I have here first, no, this is not the skeleton of my ex-husband, although I can see how you might be confused between the two. No, this is an actual rat, and I got him from the Dollar Tree. You're also going to need one of these little glass fishbowl thingies from the Dollar Tree. Now, my store has two sizes, a larger one and a smaller one. You're going to need the larger one for this one. This is a candle holder from the Dollar Tree. There's a tag on that one. And as you can see, the base of this candle holder fits perfectly up against the opening of the little the little fishbowl thing we have some e6000 i have a hot glue gun and glue sticks some of this fake spider webbing from the dollar tree and it does come with a handful of these little spiders so i'm going to take these spiders and set them off to the side uh q-tips just in case you need to clean up some wax you're going to need a candle now you can use a pillar candle or you can use a taper candle like i have here i prefer these but you can use this kind if you want to I think I said the E6000, some scissors, and you're gonna need some fishing line, clear sewing thread, or if you're like me, I make a lot of jewelry in my spare time, and I use this clear monofilament illusion cord. You can get this at Walmart for right around $2.14 per roll. So first off, what we're gonna do, the reason I have this candle is, now this part is completely optional. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. I have no problem working with open flame, but if you don't want to, just skip this. What you want to do is to give it more of a spooky look we're going to smoke up this glass a bit now you can use this type of candle or i prefer this type of candle basically all that you're going to do is you're taking the flame and just touching it to the inside of the glass and it's going to smoke up you know how um like your jar candles how they get the soot built up around the edge well you can do that with candles on purpose to make this look kind of creepy and you can take just a normal candle just hold the edge and just let the flame touch it a little bit and it'll start to smoke it up i'm going to use this one this candle came from the dollar tree as well now this can get hot fairly quickly so just touch it to the glass take it out touch it take it out take it out and try to make sure that you're not going to drip wax all on the inside of your globe that's where the q-tips come in if you start to drip a little bit of wax inside which i did right there just hold your candle up let the wax kind of flow down your candle just keep turning and then later on we're going to take that q-tip and i'm going to clean up that wax so just keep turning keep turning and if it starts to get too hot which mine is getting a little warm right now just set it down let it cool for a few seconds and then just go back to doing it so i'm going to do that for a few seconds here until i get this all nice and smoked up i'll take my q-tips and we'll clean up any wax that i should happen to have dripped on it and then i'll come back and i'll show you how to put it all together okay so my my bowl here has been pretty well blackened pretty smoked up once again just hold your bowl up your candle upright as possible and you shouldn't get any wax drips in there. If you do, like I said, just wipe it away with a Q-tip and then go back over any little smudge marks in here with your candle to cover it up. Okay, now for my little rat guy, I just pop the little head off the body and I cut a piece of my clear thread and then I folded it in half to make a loop and the folded end I glued to the top of my little rat's head. I took the rest of it. Can you see that? I know it's clear. Can y'all see it? I just took the rest of it and held it up together and then I want my rat head to be floating in the center of my glass here so I kind of just held the thread up to the bottom of the bowl just to see about how long to cut it just like that pretty simple so now what we're going to do is we're going to try to decide which side I want to be the front I think I want this to be the front 
So I'm going to hold my little rat head like this. I'm going to take a blob of hot glue and I'm going to try to aim it right for the center of the bottom there. And it's okay if you make a mess with it because here in a bit, that's why I have the spider web. We're going to cover it up. Now just hold your skull and hold it down in there so that the end of your thread is actually in your hot glue. Now this is going to take a second because you're going to have to hold it in there until that glue hardens up, okay? And try not to bump the inside of your bowl because you don't want to ruin all that beautiful soot job that we just did. So once again, I'm going to hold this in here. I'm going to pause the video and then come back and we'll glue it to our base and then we'll attach some spider webs just to make it look a little bit more spooky. Hang on just a second. Okay, I never make people watch me glue stuff because I know that is incredibly boring. And this glue does take 24 hours to really set up and, and cure. So all I did is I just took the glue and I glued this base to the bottom of this and I let it sit for 24 hours. That's all that I did so far. Now we're going to decorate it up a little bit just to make it look a little bit more spooky. And to do that, I've got my hot glue gun fired up again. Ah, I've got spider webs all over me. And we're just gonna take a little bit of this spider web. I said a little bit and look at this big old wad I've got here. <laughs> And I'm just going to kind of just drape it over the top of this. You know how this spider web stuff works. You just have to stretch it and mess with it to get it to look the way you want it to. So just stretch it out any way you want. And I'm probably going to go back with some scissors and trim some of this off to get it to look the way I want. Just kind of pull it out a little bit like that. And then I'm going to take just a tiny bit of my hot glue and just a few little, well, maybe my, oh, there it is. And just a few little dots across the top here. You're not going to see that. And just lay your webbing on top. Don't, I don't want to really press it down because I don't want it to look like really flat in some places. And like I said, I'm going to go back and trim some of this off once I can get it at a better angle and I can <laughs> see better what I'm doing. Now, these are the spiders that came with the spider web. They're actually little rings. And I'm just going to cut the ring part off so that I just have the spider. I'm going to put just a little dot of hot glue here. And I'm going to just stick it right there. And I'll put another one over here on the side too. Once I get everything exactly in place here. And if y'all followed my blog or website for any period of time. He probably saw where I had made this, was it last year or the year before? I don't know, before I got into doing all these YouTube videos. And I had done it with like a um, one of the skeleton skulls that I had got from Dollar Tree. And I thought, eh, I'll try something a little different with this little rat skull. I thought that was, that was cute. But um, whatever that you wanna use to make this, it will look just fine. Alrighty, so there we are. And hang tight and I'll get another shot of this so that you can see what it looks like from the front. And we are done. So hang on one second. And here we are. I hope that y'all enjoyed this. It was really fast and easy to put together. Pretty inexpensive. And I think it's pretty spooky. So if you would, please give me a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. I'll have the links to all of those in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye-bye.